general, uh, previous bronchoscopies are limited only to those airways um, in the lung that you can see at the end of the bronchoscope and that you can directly visualize. Uh, navigational bronchoscopy utilizes a computer technology, much like the GPS system we have in our cars, to be able to allow us to drive a catheter to anywhere in the lung, even areas that we can't directly visualize, uh, and still accurately biopsy uh, and take samples from those regions. Generally, the patient uh, is under general anesthesia uh, with a breathing tube in place. Uh, this ensures that the patient is going to be still and is not going to have any pain from anything that's done during the procedure. A bronchoscope is then advanced through the breathing tube down into the windpipe and into the airways of the lung. Utilizing a computer system uh, that forms a sort of GPS over the chest and combines that GPS system with a CAT scan of the patient's own anatomy, we can then use a steerable catheter to drive out to any lesion anywhere in the lung. Abnormal lesions in the lung that require biopsy can be highlighted as a green dot and there's a pathway that's delineated by the computer to guide the physician as to how to get to that lesion in the most effective and safe manner. Once a catheter is delivered to the area of the lesion, a number of different tools such as needles or biopsy forceps can be used to obtain tissue that can then be looked at by pathologists under a microscope to give us a very definitive diagnosis of what the abnormality is. Navigational bronchoscopy is a very useful technology not only for diagnosis but potentially to help us in therapeutic maneuvers. Specifically, when we resect lung cancer in a minimally invasive manner using either a thoracoscope or using a robotic assistance, we typically lose the ability to feel the lung and we have to rely much more on visual cues. Navigational bronchoscopy gives us an ability to mark tumors with a dye so that we can see them more effectively. It also gives us the ability to place markers that can guide radiation therapy and can ensure that we've localized the lesion in question. This is generally done as a same day procedure, meaning they come in in the morning, have the procedure done, and go home that afternoon. Uh, most patients tolerate the procedure very well without any post-operative complaints. Um, every so often, patients will complain of a little bit of a cough for a day or two, but that's usually self-limited.